I know you guys are enjoying the PvP matches a lot in Battle for Middle Earth 1, that's why we're gonna do today another one on the patch 1.06, this time on the map West Mnet as a random mirror against Mel Gibson himself. Let's start the game. Okay, I have to admit guys, this is not the real Mel Gibson, he's just using this nickname, but I might still make a clickbait and say, oh my god, I made Mel Gibson play BFME 1. <laughs> Let's start the game, and we get to play the Gondor faction, I like it. I like Gondor a lot. I uh, wasn't playing Gonza for a really long time, I was only playing Evil Factions lately. That's gonna be a nice refreshment, I like it. In uh, With Gonza, you wanna always start with a blacksmith and a farm inside your base. Uh, very important because the blacksmith, you need to get it to level 2 as soon as possible in order to purchase the upgrades later on for the Gonza Knights from the stable. And you always, guys, listen to me, you always, in every single matchup, you wanna always get the Hobbit peeping on the field, okay? He's just so cost efficient. We're gonna use the soldiers, split them, in order to get all these three settlements under our control as soon as possible. And we will now try to creep the goblin layer with the help of the hobbit Pippin, Peregrine Tuk, as Gandalf would like to call him. And the way you wanna do that is you wanna always send the hobbit first, because hobbit will be able to one shot every single goblin. And he's quite resistant as well. Once the Hobbit is the one who's face tanking against the goblins, you can use the soldiers right after. The only thing you need to make sure about, you need to be sure about, I mean, sorry, is that the soldiers are the ones who are getting the last hit. This way they're gonna hit level 2, and level 2 is a huge power spike for every single unit in BFME 1. Just watch now, we're gonna send the Hobbit first, and follow up with the soldiers next. And you can see, our Hobbit is not taking too much damage. And uh, because of the Hobbit, uh, our soldiers are gonna be untouched. And we wanna focus down the lair as soon as possible. After we kill all the, you know, goblins, we can also get stealthed with the Hobbit. It's gonna be close, but I think we can make it. I'm gonna just press FFFF all the time to buy this farm as soon as possible. There we go, nice one. Always use the shield wall formation and you stay still and fight. And once again, uh, if you uh, put the Hobbit close to your soldiers or behind them and cloak him, you don't have to cloak him. Uh, he will also be able to share experience. If we are lucky, we're gonna hit level 3. If we are not that lucky, we're gonna hit level 2. We have to use heal now. You just wait, 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 wait. Now is the time to use heal. There we go. Now we should also be able to win the fight. Get one more farm inside the base for the foot bonus to make our Gondor Knights cheaper later on. Ah, that was kinda unlucky. We got only level 2, but we are quite healthy with the soldiers, and we can actually go even to the work layer now, shall we? Get some more money. Saving now for this stable, which costs us 800 resources. There we go. Always use the uh, shield wall formation to make us uh, to make our soldiers tank here. We have enough money now for this stable. But that's gonna be close, but he's bringing another soldier. Okay, that's fine. This way we know that he is not creeping and we're gonna come ahead even if we end up losing the farm because look how many power points we are already able to collect and we have a level uh, almost three hobbits now we have a level three hobbit and we will be able to get some more money from the creep so we are in a good spot right now trust me on that one and once again you want to make sure that the soldiers are the ones who are getting the last hit so make sure that hobbit is not attacking when the layer is low press s all the time the creep secured nice one Get the money as soon as possible. There we go. Beautiful. So we were able to creep two layers against zero from our opponent Mel Gibson so far. I think we're gonna lose this farm, but I'm fine with that. Because we got so much extra money from this creep, so it's absolutely fine. Nice one. Okay. This matchup is gonna be kinda uh, lame, because the way this matchup works in BFME 1, we will need some siege weapons, aka trebuchets later on. We can maybe try to kill one more farm from the opponent or one farm from the opponent to make it equal, kinda. I mean, our Hobbit is higher leveled. His Hobbit is only level 1, so our Hobbit is not only tankier, but also has more DPS right now. We're gonna just focus down the farm. There we go. Nice one. He was able to destroy our farm, but that's not a big deal because our Gondor Knights are gonna be on the field, you know, by the time. And that's the reason why I was not demolishing the farm, because I wanted to make sure that he is not able to get another farm destroyed. Beautiful. Uh, on the map West Amnet, guys, there are many, many creeps. We have also two troll layers in the middle of the map. We can, I'm gonna show you guys how you can, you know, creep the troll layers with your Gondor Knights. Uh, by using two Gondor Knights, one of them to lure the troll away from the layer, and the other one to actually destroy the layer. 
Uh, I think that was not a smart move from me, guys. I should have stayed invisible with the Hobbit, so this way he couldn't get the farm back, but... We can't make it anymore, and we're gonna lose the Hobbit, unfortunately. But it is how it is. The farm is gonna be taken down. And now we're gonna lead right after to the troll layer, guys. Watch now what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna use now one of the Gondor Knights, as mentioned before, to lure the troll away from the lair. So he's gonna follow the one Gondor Knight battalion, while the other one is gonna focus down the lair, alright? And we're gonna actually bring him now to the opponent farm. That's what we're gonna do. Because after we're gonna be able to kill the Leia, this troll actually, guys, is gonna kill the farm from our opponent. <laughs> so it's like a win-win situation, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Uh, we need to potentially demolish this farm, but creep secured, as you can see, we get more money, more power points. We have almost enough power points uh, for our Gond uh, Gandalf to White later on. Which costs us two power points after the heal. Uh, the farm is gonna be unfortunately taken down, but it's fine. We need to recruit the hobbits, uh, hobbits one more time. Maybe we can take this fight, but I think it sh should be a better choice if you run away, because one of our Gondor Knights, as you can see, is kind of a little bit damaged, so we might lose this fight. Okay, buy this farm back with the one Gondor Knight Battalion. We will have eventually now, very soon, the third Gondor Knight on the field as well. Which is gonna help, be helpful because, you know, in this matchup, it's all about map control. Killing the opponent farms and protecting yours. This is how this matchup works in BFME 1, alright? By this farm. You can also try to lure the troll actually to our own farm if you want. Oh, we can kill now the hobbits. And let's now lure uh, the troll to our uh, citadel because our Tsitsa from Gonzo, unlike from Rohan, is also able to shoot. That waypoint so we don't have to be careful anymore. And creep this work layer on the right side of the map, shall we? Nice one. Actually, I think we are coming super ahead right now. I believe we have so much more power points than our opponent has. So we are definitely in a safe spot. And we will be even, you know, in a better spot now after creeping this work layer. We're gonna have upgrades very, very soon. As you can see, the troll is getting killed from the Zita. And we're gonna get yet another level 2 Gondonet Battalion after creeping this work layer. Beautiful. We have now Forge Blades purchased. Uh, Forge Blades is gonna be helpful to kill the Gondor Knights faster, but also to, cr to creep the layers faster in this map, West Mnet. And buy this one as well, and let's leave leads now to the bottom right side. We have still one layer in the middle of the map, but I'm gonna try to creep this one later. Okay, we are winning the fights obviously because we have Blades and the opponent has no Blades just yet, we need to use heal and focus down the goblin layer as soon as possible. You have so many power points now, that's actually crazy. Oh, but he was able to creep this uh, work layer unfortunately for us, but it is how it is. Oh, 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 I am right, we need to get, we need to get away, we need to get away, that's very close. And in this matchup, guys, very important, you wanna try to keep your Gondor Knights alive as long as you possibly can. You're gonna now buy the heavy armor as well. Maybe we can try to creep this one as well, let's see. If you can. Yeah, let's do it. Once again, you can see, we're gonna use the... Oh, 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 don't stop like that. Don't make me get a heart attack, I'm telling you. Now, once again, watch what I'm doing. I'm always using one of the Gondor Knights to lure the troll away from the lair. And this other one is gonna be focusing the lair. Gonna get more money, more power points, and more experience. So, all the good stuff. Okay, let's heal up a little bit. Our hobbit is invisible around the farm, so we are in a good spot. And because we will have heavy armor much more, much faster, we will also be able to win every single 1v1 uh, situation against the open end Gondor Knights. No big deal. Upgrade. Oh, 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 be careful. Always watch. And you can see I'm always using the hotkeys, you know, 1, 2, 3. So I'm giving my Gondor Knights number 1, number 2, number 3. The way I can do that is by, you know, selecting the Gondor Knights, pressing Ctrl 1, Ctrl 2, Ctrl 3. So every time I double tap, number one, two or three on my keyboard, I'm gonna jump right uh, to the next Gondor Knight. This is gonna make the micro much, much easier, alright? Once again, he is not in a spot in which he can fight us back. That's gonna give us the chance to actually reclaim the map control and come ahead in those kind of situations. And the only creep, you know, which is left on this map is the troll without the home, since we destroyed his homeland. <laughs> but we can also now creep this troll, bringing him to our Zita once again. 
This way, you know, this is a win-win situation because we are not only coming ahead in terms of power points, guys, but also we are denying so much from our opponent. Every time you creep something, you take also something away from your opponent, right? You get money, you get power points, and your opponent doesn't. So your Gundam Knights are gonna be higher leveled, you will have more power points collected, and you will be generally in a much, much better spot. We have so many power points now, look at this. Actually, we might even go for the Alvin Wood, because even after the Alvin Wood, uh, we will still have uh, the power points we need for guns after that. So, one thing is for sure, this game is not gonna end very soon, because again, we have to destroy the wall, we have to break the gate, uh, let's use Elvin Wood here. Elvin Wood is, by the way, giving us 40% armor gas, which is quite nice. And we have armor in his horseman shields. Horseman shields are not bad, but heavy armor is definitely better when it comes to fight against enemy cavalry units. A horseman shield on the other side is better when you want to rush an evil faction, for example, and he has a lot of archers slash towers. Because, um... The Horseman Shield, or in this case the Night Shield upgrade from the Gondor faction, is increasing your durability against arrows exclusively, alright? Farm is gonna be the next target. We need to make sure to demolish those farms in time. This way we deny once again power points and experience points from our opponent. Always keep an eye on our farms and make sure to demolish them in time, alright? And now we at this point look our money. We are trying to save now for Gandalf to right? We have the power points now we need. But the thing is, you wanna pick your power points from the spell book after Gandalf comes out. Because if you do it before, your wizard plus is gonna be on cooldown. If, however, you pick your power point after Gandalf the Grey joins the battlefield, you will get the chance to use wizard plus right after. Okay, I mean, just focus map control, that's all that we can do right now. Uh, because, you know, he has a wall, he has a gate, we can't kill his face without the trebuchets later on. Uh, we might need some tower guards, we might need some trebuchets later on, definitely. The reason why we might need some uh, tower guards from the barracks is to keep our, you know, trebuchets protected. Swords! We'll claim this area. Swords! And once again, we are in a safe spot. We have now enough money for guns off. So that's gonna be our next step. Get guns off the gray on the field. Once again, wait until he joins. Then pick up the power points from the spell book. Use heal. No, actually not. We are close to the base. Oh, oh, don't. Oh, these guys are giving me heart attack. And so far, we didn't lose any Gondor Knights, which is very nice. And once again, demolish everything in time. He has also three Gondor Knights on the field, uh, but it's fine. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna save for the Night Shield upgrade guys from the stable level 2. And after we get the Night Shields, we're gonna actually demolish the stable. And go for either the workshop to get some trebuchets on the field or potentially the barracks to recruit some tower guards instead. There we go. Gandalf is on the field now. Uh, we can win this fight, I guess, right? Yeah, we can win this fight because we have a level 5 unit, as you can see. Pick up the power point from the spell book and get Gandalf. Give this man a horse, alright? As Captain America would, I mean, as uh, Black Panther would like to say to Captain America. Give, get this man a shield, get this man a horse. And his horse's name is Me Shadow Fax. Use Easter Light here to get some power points and experience on our white rider. And Gandalf is the most powerful hero in Battle for Middle Earth 1 by far. And it's gonna be very impactful in this matchup. Now we can demolish, demolish the stable right, uh, like mentioned before. And I actually might go for the barracks there, guys. Because we, I believe we will need some, you know, tower guards later on to keep our trebuchets protected. We might also go for the, for the marketplace. Let's go for the marketplace, shall we? Because marketplace is so nice in this matchup. I mean, it's nice overall for the Gondor faction because it's gonna make sure that you have always the money you need. And we wanna purchase all the upgrades from the marketplace. Starting with the Grand Harvest first. Fight for the map control. Stay in front of the gate. So we have pressure. Uh, he has no Gandalf on the field just yet. Hit this farm. Fight for them. Fight against the Gondor Knights from the opponent player, Mel Gibson. And go for the barracks there. 
but I'm actually gonna wait potentially until we have enough money now for the marketplace upgrades um, Grand Harvest. Because we don't have to rush things now, we can also play it kind of slow. Grand Harvest is gonna give us so much more money. But X is gonna be a choice. We can, you know, start with that. We will have the money anyway. Alright, just focus, you know, the map control. Try to come ahead. Try to have some more farms than your opponent has. And once again, try to demolish everything in time. This way we deny experience and power points, okay? Very important to win the power point fight in this matchup. Because the first one who gets the eagle, the first one who gets the army of the dead summon is gonna be potentially the winner of this game. And you can also, you can only make this, make sure, you know, be sure about that if you deny all the possible power points from your opponent by demolishing the buildings in time, by not taking bad fights, and by especially keeping the Gandalf the White alive. Okay, let's keep chasing. He knows he can't fight us right now. He is trying to get his own Gandalf on the field in the meantime, I'm assuming. Um, and we might actually go for a Lightning Sword here. Let's use it. Can he dodge it? Nice one. But nice dodge here from him. He was actually going back. Because the Lightning... Oh, the Hobbit is going down. The Night Shield up... Uh, sorry. The Lightning Sword guys from Gandalf is a skill shot. While, uh, you know, Easter Light is a... It's always gonna hit, since it's a targeted spell, uh, the Lightning Sword is a skill shot, okay? So if your opponent is paying attention, he might be able to dodge this. Just use Easter Light, because we have nothing else to do. He's not taking the fight, so we can just make sure to kill some Gondor Knights left and right. I'm fine with that. You want to show everything in time? And he might have his Gandalf on the field very soon, and hopefully he will start taking a fight against us, because so far he's just running away all the time, you know? I mean, the game doesn't start yet, because we need to get some trebuchets in order to siege the opponent base. We need to get some tower guards in order to keep the trebuchets protected. And we might even need some archers later on for the outpost control. Because I don't want to buy randomly a outpost when I know I can't protect that one. So ideally you want to buy an outpost. And put some arches inside of that, so you have some protection at least, you know? I mean, we are in a good spot right now. In order to be able to recruit the tower guards, we have to first of all get four soldiers on the field, guys. Let's go for the Alvin allies from the spellbook. We might use it later on, uh, eventually, to kill his Gandalf. Because our Easter Elite is going to deal a lot of damage to the opponent Gandalf. But it's not gonna be enough to one-shot him, right? And that's why we will need some additional damage, and Alvin and Elias might do the magic trick. Now we have to get the um, Siege Works, which is called Gonda Workshop. Uh, because we have to get some trebuchets on the field as soon as possible. But always keep an eye on your Gonda Knights. And don't lose them. Very important, because what we did is, as you can see, we have no stable anymore, right? So we are confident that we're gonna keep our Gondor Knights alive. That's why we demolish the stable and replace the stable with the barracks instead. So that's, with that being said, make sure to keep your Gondor Knights alive. Very important. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, wait, wait, wait one second. I'm looking for a chance to use Lightning Swords. Maybe it's gonna work. Uh, we're gonna use Easter Light instead. Just go. Kill some more Gondor Knights, shall we? I mean, we are only able to kill one because he's using the Wedge Formation and that's very smart. If you are playing this matchup and you have, you have, a, you have you know, your opponent has a Gandalf on the field and you have horses, always use the Wedge Formation. This way you can only hit one up to maximum two Gondor Knights at the same time. If you use the normal formation also ever, you will be able to hit much more units at the same time. Because Easter Elite deals a little bit splash damage. Oh, 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 he has Gandalf! Oh my. Oh, I might be forced to heal you, right? I, I will have to heal. I don't want to lose my Gondor Knights. Oh, I didn't pay attention, guys. And that's gonna be the fight now between two Gandalfs at the same time. We need to cancel the Wizard Blast. We have no more heal available. I think he has still heal, so we need to be careful now. I don't want to lose my Gandalf for no reason. Okay, let's go for a beautiful Wizard Blast, shall we? Oh, yeah. Alright, I think we killed too much more than he did. Use Lightning Sword right after. Can he? Can I hit him? Yeah, I hit only one Gondor Knight with that. Are you kidding me? But I, I, it's fine. We didn't lose anything. Oh, it was not in time demolishing this farm. And that's where the fun begins, guys. That's where the fun begins. Now it's about Micro with the Gandalf. 
Let's see which Gandalf is stronger, shall we? We're gonna put them in the corner and we actually wanna kill them ourselves to make some room for the power guards because Gonzo but also Rohan in, in 1v1s, they have only 200 command points available. And you don't want to waste them for no reason into some units which are very weak in this matchup, especially Gondor soldiers, you know, they don't bring anything to the table. If now two Elven Woods, these are from us, this Elven Woods. Oh, change to wage formation once again, so hits only one unit. If we wouldn't do that, we would, we would lose much more than that. Always make sure to switch to the wedge formation just in time. We are cash floating so much though, because I'm, you know, kind of paying attention around this area, but we need to get some trebuchets on the field very, very soon. I think he's also going for trebuchets, and yeah, it's gonna be kinda hard now to destroy his base. But, uh, we need to, we need to kinda, kinda risk the biscuit, you know? We might lose a lot, but always, never ever, guys, uh, forget about the map control, never ever. Map control in Battle for Middle Earth games is everything, right? Um, I'm kinda a little bit scared because we have no heal, guys. No heal means we might lose a lot. Let's go for a beautiful Visa Plus, shall we? Booyah! Yeah, there we go! Oh, 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 oh. Make sure that the Gondor Knights are near, nearby to Gandalf so he's not face tanking everything. He was using the Elven, the Elven Wolf for that, but we're not gonna lose the Gondor Knights. Why are you asking? Glad you're asking because, you know, Gandalf is also giving us a 50% armor to the Norway Allied units. In this case, our Gondor Knights are resistant, you know? Let's disengage, we don't we don't need to rush the fight, we are we are kinda low on health. He's gonna use Easter Light, but it's not gonna be enough to kill Gandalf. And now he has Easter Light on cooldown, that's the time for us to shine. But first of all, we have to go back to base and heal up a little bit, very important. Every time you have the chance, go back to the base, don't use your heal for no reason, you know? Especially when you're close to your base, there is no need of using the heal. I mean, we have great amount of map control, but it's not gonna be enough. We need to go now for the attack. Let's see how well it's going to be. I will definitely get one more Tower Guard Battalion on the field, and I'm actually gonna wait and get also Boromir and Faramir, the brothers. The two captains of Gondor, we're gonna need them. Especially Faramir is bringing so much to the table. Just because Faramir's Wounding Arrow is dealing a significant amount of damage to the Gandalf, so it, it's, it's not gonna be enough by the way guys, Easter Light and Wounding Arrow is not enough, but it's almost enough. So Wounding Arrow, Easter Light and a couple of shots from the Elven Allies from the Spellbook will be enough to burst down the opponent Gandalf, okay? And once again, keep fighting for the map control, the next power point from the Spellbook is gonna be definitely the Eagle Allies. Eagles are very very nice in this matchup, trust me on that one. We are running out of money, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna be a big deal because we have marketplace, so we're gonna get money, money, money over time. And marketplace in BFME one, in order to keep up the upgrades, you need to keep the building inside your base. You you don't demolish this one, okay? Important. Now we can take a fight because now we have also heal. Uh, okay. He's he's paying attention. He's also on point with the micro. And uh, this is our Elven Wood, so he shouldn't take a fight. It's a 2v1 situation anyway. Just keep chasing him, shall we? We have now Farami and Boromi on the field. Uh, oh, he's gonna take a fight, really? Oh, I need to cancel the Visa Blast. Lightning Swords, can I hit him? I think I hit him, right? Yeah, I hit him. Nice damage. In those kind of situations, he needed to make sure to switch to the normal formation. Because the Wedge formation... Oh, we need to be careful! It's a level 7! I have to use heal. In those kind of situations, what I was trying to say is you want to use the normal formation because the wedge formation is good against Easter Light, but it's also decreasing your armor. Uh, especially when you are getting hit by the by the uh, lightning sword from Gandalf, make sure to switch to the normal formation. This is gonna make your you know Gondor Knights a little bit tankier, alright? So let's not waste any time, let's move forward. The only thing I'm worried about is we have no heal for this fight. Let's see how much damage we will be able to deal now. With four trebuchets, two tower guards, and the brothers of Gondo, Faramir and Boromir, side by side. We will protect these lands. Okay, Firestone is gonna be the next purchase. That's gonna increase the DPS of our trebuchet significantly. You're gonna deal way, way more damage. Like that. And I think if this attack should fail, which I hope it won't, we might need the um, outpost control of this map. 
So we might need some uh, Gondo, I mean Gondo archers slash rangers because we will need some archers against the potential eagles later on. Okay, very important. Once again, we need to try to tra you know micro around with tower guards. Oh, I was not in on point. We're gonna lose two of them unfortunately. He's going for a Wizard Blast, but we're not gonna die because Gandalf has leadership. He's also not dying, but that's fine. We are just trying to actually disable them. It would be the dream, guys, if Boromir here gets level 4. Trust me on that one. Boromir level 4 would be absolutely the dream because Boromir gives us a damage leadership. The only hero in the Gondor faction that gives you lead damage leadership. Okay, one arrow. Is there light? Is this going to be enough? Does he have heal? Yeah, he has heal. We need to be careful now with Gandalf. Oh my god. Oh, oh, we need to be careful. Look, our look, Gandalf is surviving with one HP. Baromir and Boromir, but Boromir is level four. Nice one. Oh, okay. We need to now peel back. We need to peel back. There is no way of us actually winning this fight anymore. And let's get the outpost at the right side of the map, shall we? I mean, we can try to kill some Gondor Knights because Boromir has a passive which knocks down the enemy units. Is there a light? He was using Isterelite against our tower guards, really? He could have killed Faramir. If you don't know, Isterelite is able to one-shot a Faramir on foot when Faramir is only level 3. So save this uh, tower guards, shall we? And buy this outpost. So we will need some arches definitely now. Uh, what I'm doing? Uh, I was not paying attention with this tower guards, but it's fine. It's how it is. Now uh, we, um, we are only two, two and a half power points away from getting the Eagle Summon unlocked from the Spellbook, which is going to be a huge power spike for us. By this outpost, uh, try to save the uh, tower guard, shall we? So, his kind of might be in trouble. Is this going to be enough? No, no, he's actually paying attention. By this outpost, uh, in this outpost, we're gonna make a well, we're gonna make a statue, and we're gonna make also the archer range, okay? Statue always behind. There we go, and the well there for the sustain. Nice one. I'm happy that our Boromir is level 4, that means 60% more DPS for the allied units. Around Boromir, get some more trebuchets on the field. Uh, we should win the money race in long terms because I believe I don't see a marketplace in this space. So with the marketplace, it's you know the longer the game goes on, the more beneficial the marketplace is going. To oh, he was going for a juicy visa plus. Oh uh, boy, but he's Gandalf. He might maybe kill Gandalf, guys. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Hit him with the Gondor Knights, hit him with the Gondor Knights, hit him with the Gondor Knights, he has no more heal. We have to use eventually heal now. Oh, we killed his Gandalf, ladies and gentlemen, let's go! Gandalf is down, and that's gonna be for us now the time to shine. Because we need to abuse that now, we need to abuse that, that the Gandalf from the opening player, Mel Gibson, by the way, is dead. Who is the better Gandalf now? You have no power here, Gandalf the White. I mean, the opening Gandalf the White. Our Gandalf the White has the power over 9,000, alright? This game is actually quite fun. I mean, it's action packed because we have fights all the time and we are not able to touch the opponent base right now because he has a great defense. And I'm assuming we will need some Eagles later on, definitely. Because with the Eagles, we can summon them and kill all the trebuchets, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh. In order to get the archer range to level 4, we need to first of all recruit 4 normal archers. And the reason why we need the archer range level 2 is simple. Because that's the only way we can actually purchase the fire arrow, fire arrow upgrade and also recruit some rangers. Which are the best archers from the Man of the West or Gondor faction in this case. And uh, especially if you put them in the, in the citadel from the outpost, they are shooting way faster than the Gondor archers and they are also dealing way more damage. I mean, once again, his Gandalf is dead, so we can just, you know, use that now in our favor. We are one power point only away from the Eagle Summon, which is gonna be nice. We will now be able to see this outpost, and we might later on also try to get all the other, up all the other, up um, sorry, I can't even talk. All the other, all the, I can, I can still not talk. All the other outposts <laughs> captured as well. Sorry, guys. Okay. This game is, this game is kind of intense. Can we actually go for a... Oh, he's paying attention. No, oh, I think I missed this one, right? Oh no, actually, we still killed two of them, which is not bad. 
He's paying attention, he's dodging the incoming damage from the lightning sword. Always keep an eye on the map control. Uh, make sure you have the majority of the farms under your control because look our look our money right now, guys. We have over six thousand. We are almost command points kept as well. We can we need to get one more of them, then the archer range is gonna be level two. We also need some more trebuchets. Buy this outpost that as well, shall we? Okay, fire arrow upgrade getting purchased now, which is good. Uh, that's gonna be necessary to increase the DPS of our archers significantly by this outpost. And try to actually now win the macro fight. And win the power point fight as well. F power points are now, I think, um, the most important uh, win condition for us in this game. I mean, our Gondor Knights are level 7. I think we should be winning this fight. We have also Elven Allies summoned in the worst case. I hope he won't be able to see our trebuchets coming. We can go for a Visa Plus. Oh, he's paying attention. We, should take, we, we can win this fight easily. There is no way he can win this fight against us. Let's summon the elves, shall we? Okay. He's taking a bad fight here because elves, they have the support damage and he's forced to retreat now. And now we have the power points also we need for the eagle allies summon, which is nice. But we're gonna wait, I'm assuming, for his Gandalf to come back. Because eagles are uh, one of the best counters, if you don't know, against heroes. So our eagles are dealing way too much damage. We, we might be able to kill his Gondon Knights, maybe. Let's catch him with the Elven allies, maybe. You know, cut off his way. Let's go with the elves. There we go. Would be nice if he can kill this level 6 unit or level 5. Let's kill him. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. That's nice. He was also using heal for this one. So no heal and he still lost the unit. Okay, let's not feed the power points with the Alvin allies. Put uh, the rangers instead, instead of the normal archers inside the tower. Because once again, they have much higher DPS. And right now in this outpost, guys, they have the statue leadership, which increases the damage output by 100%. And also Boromir is affecting the units inside. Trust me when I say that. But our rangers, ladies and gentlemen, inside the citadel of the outpost are gonna hit like an absolute truck. Trust me. Alright. Uh, not looking bad, not looking bad, not looking bad. Um, we might even need something like AOD later on. We are still 9.5 power points. Oh, be careful. He still catch us? Oh man, do I need to use heal now? I guess I have to. Oh, not even close, baby. The better carry upgrade was able to survive. <laughs> Alright, I didn't want to use heal because I want to use heal if possible for my guns, of course, you know? Okay, let's see now what we can do. Uh, we need to get some trebuchets now to this outpost right there. Make sure that the one tower guard is able to protect this area as well. And once again, Boromir is level 4. That's a nice little advantage we got over our opponent. He has no Boromir on the field. And the 60% damage uh, leadership is actually quite efficient and significant okay and Gandalf is a level 7 let's see if he can get our Gandalf level 10 for the world of power would be awesome right oh but he stopped he stopped oh he stopped oh no we can go for the Bizarre Blast still come on oh but our units didn't die his units are also not dying because a couple of them are died did die actually heal Wait, 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 now heal? Oh my... Oh my goodness, man. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was so not on point. Let's summon the eagles now to kill his Gandalf. Go for, you know, one for one. But it's totally my bad. I was too greedy. I didn't want to use heal fast. I was trying to beat him. We oh, hear some rangers there. Oh, but we killed still his Gandalf. But our, our eagles are gonna die very quickly now. Like, look, look at this damage, guys, from this uh, outpost. Our eagle's dead in a second. And he has a lot of catapults there as well. That's kind of bad for us. Hmm. We need to get Gandalf back on the field very soon. That's important. And luckily, we have good amount of resource income. Unlike our opponent, because we have more map control. We have marketplace. I don't know if he has marketplace or not. Put some arches inside the other outposts as well. We have some protection. And let's go for a, for attack potentially, right? Or do we wait for Gandalf? I don't, I'm not sure yet. I mean, on the other side, he has also no Gandalf on the field right now. Get some more trebuchets. 
And we might also buy this outpost now offensively at the bottom left side, you know? So we have three out of four outposts under our control against only one. And once again, that's gonna give us vision control, map control, gonna give us sustain with the well, so we are gonna be in a good spot, in a safe spot. Oh, well, stay true for leadership. I demolish the farm in time. Oh, I'm still tilted because we lost the Gandalf, guys. I'm still tilted. Sorry for that. Was not intended. I mean, was kind of my fault because I was kind of greedy with the heal. I should have used it much, much earlier. I think I think he can't win this fight there because you know. Oh, he's summoning the Rohirrim. All right, all right. Where was Rohan when Bas Mnet fell? As Gondor would like to say. But I believe his Rohirrim are gonna die very quickly. And we need to make sure to stop shoot, to stop shooting with the Katas because they are gonna kill more of our own units than from the opponent. Try to protect them. We might kill our, kill our Katas, but I'm fine with that, you know? Because we have so much money. And we're gonna kill his units in return, get some more power points. And get closer and closer for the army after that summon. We are even able to save one of these. Uh, make sure to demolish the well if he attacks very soon because the well is giving so much power points and experience, very important. Uh, we need to make sure to keep this Sitter protected because that's the Sitter we were recruiting the Ganda from or reviving. Look how many units we are able to kill. Oh, he's going for a damage. Oh, he has Katas. We need to get the Rohirrim allies now as well, I believe, right? We have to... I don't want to lose my Gondor Knights for that. We're going to use the Rohirrim allies to kill his own uh, catapults. So we need to be careful with Farami and Boromir, especially Farami is quite slow. Focus now on the trebuchets first, very important. He has no pikemen unlike our, unlike us with the tower guards and we should be able to kill every single trebuchet. Put the rangers inside the outpost, there we go. But don't overcommit here guys because he has leadership and we don't want to lose this Rohirrim for no reason and feed him with more power points than we already, uh, than we already did by losing the Gandalf before. Okay. Barami is almost level 4, level 5 is gonna unlock his own leadership, which is armor and fear resistant. Uh, so it's nice little uh, extra armor for our, you know, horses and also archers, which is quite nice. Put this range inside, so we have some protection around this outpost as well. And we can just check the area now with the summon throw hit him. Okay. I mean, now, as you can see, the map is looking green to me, so we have a great amount of um, resource income. Look, our money has, we have over 7,000 now, we are command points capped. Uh, oh, 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 that's nice. <laughs> okay, perfect timing. So, thank you for the trebuchets. He's losing now 900 each, guys. 900 each, just like that. Because the trebuchet itself costs 600, and the firestone upgrade on them costs 300 on top of that. And perfect timing also, because the time remaining was gone. So, he was not even able to kill some Rohirrim in exchange. And he lost so much money. He lost around 4,000 resources, just like that. End up is back in the business. And now we might be able to commit. Uh, our Eagle Summon is on cooldown, but we have the Alvin Allies Summon in the worst case. Let's see if we can make it work. However, I don't want to move out without Trebuchet. So we will definitely need some more Trebuchet. The problem what we have right now is that we are Command Points capped, guys. So we are currently not able to make any more units, alright? Protect this outpost with this... Uh... Oh, he's coming in. I don't know about that. He's not paying attention. I'm fine with that. I wanted to get some command points. I'm actually very happy with that outcome. The only thing that I'm kind of worried about is we lost our uh, archer range, which, me which means we cannot make any more rangers in his zone. But I'm fine with that. Now we have some room. Actually not. And because they are recovering around the well, maybe we can get one more trebuchet, but that's it. Anyways, now is the time for us to shine. He was using heal during this fight. We have now heal advantage with our Gandalf and Gondor Knights. One of them is even level 10. And make sure that the heroes are always seeing a little bit behind because you don't want them to face tank against this damage. We have, two, uh, we have two trebuchets, but remember guys, we were always uh, we were able to kill all his trebuchets before. So I'm assuming he has like one or two, maybe, maybe not even a single trebuchet left here. Let's see, let's move on. I mean, this is gonna be very, very important now to win this fight. Kill these archers. We need to kill the statue as well first, though. Uh, because this is gonna deny his leadership, right? Two shots are gonna be enough. He's not demolishing that. We're gonna get we're gonna get lots of power points. He's gonna use the Rohirrim allies to defend against our trebuchets. But we're gonna go for a beautiful Visa Blast. Uh, I think he will still be able to kill them. 
but try to kill as many as possible in return. I think he has no more trebuchet. Oh, he's coming with Gandalf? Oh, this is a mistake. He's not paying attention. He's gonna lose his Gandalf, guys. Okay. Can we kill him, though? We need to recover this Elven Wood. Come on. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, he has heal. Oh, I thought he had used heal before. My bad. Now we can overcome it, though. We have Gandalf almost level 8. We have still one trebuchet remaining. Kill his units. And commits now fully, shall we? He has no pikemen. And no statue, no leadership. Level 8 Gandalf now. This Gandalf has to be careful. Do we have Wanding Arrow still? He's gonna use Lightning Swap with his own Gandalf. And are we forced to retreat now? I think we just go back now just to make sure. Oh, we have, but we have Roh Rohan Allies summon. Uh, maybe it's better to return now because he has some arches inside the tower. Uh, and we can just heal up a little bit. I don't want to use heal when the outpost is really close to me. So our Gandalf is level uh, 8. He's gonna be full HP and we will have to heal from the spellbook. This time I'm also not gonna be greedy anymore. I don't want to lose my um, Gandalf once again in this game. Okay. Build up the archery range once again. And let's now go again, I guess. This time only with Gondor Knights and Gandalf. Uh, and abuse the fact that... Boom! <laughs> nice one. Nice one. We killed them all. Maybe we can kill this Gandalf. Because I'm bringing Faramir. Let's use Warning Arrow on him, shall we? He has no more heal, remember, guys? Easter Lights. I don't need to use heal. But I just, do, I just did. And kill this Faramir. His Gandalf is dead. Now there is no way he can protect this outpost anymore. And we can kill everything here, guys. We can kill Faramir, Boromir. They won't be able to get away from us. Trust me. They are not mobile enough. Okay, Farami is gonna go down next with the Gandalf. One more hit. There we go. Gandalf is almost level 9. And we are only one power point away from getting the Army of the Dead summon unlock from the spellbook. Just like that. Gonna use the... Gonna kill the archers first and gonna use actually the uh, Lightning Sword to kill Boromir right after. From him. Yes, Boromir is still alive. But let's use now the Lightning Sword, shall we? And I think we're gonna get the Army of the Dead Summon now unlocked from this attack. After killing Boromir. It should be enough, right? But I'm gonna challenge myself, guys. We're gonna try to win this game without the use of the Army of the Dead, okay? We are not use. Oh, 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 Gandalf. Uh, Gandalf has to be careful. He has summoned the Eagles. But I'm gonna show you guys. That's gonna be nice because now you will be able to see how much damage these Rangers are gonna be able to deal. Watch now, please, how fast these Eagles are gonna go down. Boromir and Statue Leadership. They are getting one shot, as you can see. <laughs> and Gandalf was able to survive as well. Very nice. Demolish everything in time. Build a statue there as well. Farm, farm for more money. I mean, we don't need money, but it is how it is. Look, our money, guys. We have over 17,000 resources collected. And that's what I'm trying to say. Map control is everything. And by the way, we also didn't lose a single. And when I mean a single, we didn't lose a single on the night with on the field. Since the beginning of the game, which is impressive. Okay, now the siege begins. And we're gonna try to break down the uh, the gate first. Because, you know, I don't want to gate rush him. Break the gate and go inside right after. He has not many farms left. He has, I think, only one or two farms outside of the map. So his money is not looking as great as ours. Trust me on that one. And after the game, you will also see the statistics between us and him. In terms of resources. He's going for the Rohirrim Malai summon to kill our uh, trebuchets. We can go for a Wizard Plus here. Booyah. There we go. Level 9 Gandalf, ladies and gentlemen. Level 9 Gandalf. I'm assuming he's reviving his Gandalf once again. And I actually want that to happen because I want to kill his Gandalf one more time. <laughs> Alright. Because I believe if we can kill his Gandalf one more time with our own Gandalf, guys, we can get our Gandalf level 10. That would be a nice little add-on to this amazing game. And I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, please don't forget to leave a like. Alright. Uh, we can make some more trebuchets. We have 185 out of 200 command points right now. We can make three more, I believe. Yeah, they cost only five command points, so we can make three more. Okay. Switch to the swords in a situation like this. Go for a... Oh, yeah, Gandalf is now popping off, guys. Gandalf is now popping off. And once again, we will try to win this game without the use of the Army of the Dead. That's the challenge. 
Because with Army of the Dead it would be easy now. He could just use Army of the Dead, break his gate with the Army of the Dead, go inside and kill everything, you know, in a second. Okay, he's trying to fight for this outpost, but he can't take it down, trust me on that one. Like, look those ranges, guys, inside. They are just hitting very, very hard. Make sure to demolish everything in time so he doesn't get any power points. I think he's still far, far, far away uh, from his own army after that. I believe, like, he's 8, maybe even 9 power points away still. And we have the power points already. Because we are doing a nice job all game long, demolishing the buildings. Most of them, at least. Not all of them, but most of them in time. Uh, saving our Gondor Knights. Don't lose heroes. I mean, we lost only stupidly one time our Gandalf, but that's it. Our Boromir and Faramir didn't get killed one time. So we are definitely much ahead, much more ahead right now in terms of uh, power points. Okay, so we have Eagles ready, we have Rohan allies ready, we have Army of the Dead ready, which we're not gonna use. And let's focus now the gate, shall we? Okay. We need to make sure to protect our trebuchets. Why is this trebuchet moving forward like this? I don't like this. Just to keep our... Oh, oh, he's going for a gate rush. <laughs> what? This is desperate move. This is desperate move. Come on. <laughs> we have enough money. We can make... Oh, that's... He want to gate rush us. <laughs> this guy is desperate. We're going to just invest money now to get some expansions around the fortress. So we have some, uh, you know, defense. We'll kill the Tsita, but I'm fine with that, you know? Okay, one part of the wallet has been broken. The gate is going down next. He's going to kill the well, unfortunately. I was not in time demolishing this one. But he's gonna lose his Gondonites in exchange. Maybe we can go now inside. I believe he has nothing to defend himself. Let's go. Look to map control, guys. The map is almost 100% green now. And we have still over 11,000 resources. Even though we were, you know... Actually, not. I don't want to actually kill the Tita, guys. We, I want to wait until his Gandalf comes out, okay? So, actually, he's focused on the other buildings. Because I believe his Gandalf is going to be back on the field very, very soon. And we can now kill him the second he comes out. <laughs> okay? Right. I mean, you can see we have eagles ready. We have everything ready. But I don't. I believe we don't need them. I believe we don't need them. Get all the farms in the meantime. And deny our opening as much money as possible. Okay. And once again, we could easily finish now the game without any trouble by using the EOD. But that wouldn't be challenging. We might be forced to use heal very soon. Oh, cancel. Nice, Gandalf is back now. Use lightning sword immediately. <laughs> alright, alright. But our, Gandalf, our level 10 horses are dying to the tower slowly but surely. Can we save them? Does he have heal though? When he has no heal, he has heal, okay? He has heal. We can still use the Easter Light on him. We have still heal from the spellbook ready in the worst case to keep our own Gandalf protected. Let's chase him down. Hit him a couple of times before we use Easter Light. Our Gandalf is almost level 10. We need to use heal now. Now we're gonna use our... Oh, but he was not getting killed. Now we need to peel back. We, we're gonna lose everything. I don't wanna throw now my lead, guys. Oh, he's running to my Gandalf! What hits out the tank? Oh! <laughs> Level 10, there we go! More of power is away in the world! Uh-oh, he's summoning the Eagles! Come on, dude, don't do that to me! Come on! No heal, we can't make it out alive, guys. We cannot make it out alive. Oh, no. I can't even stay still because what of power is dealing zero damage to Flyers, to Eagles. Smart move here from him using the Rohan ally summon because they're gonna face tank now the Arches inside the tower. And unfortunately, guys, I'm sorry, but look at the damage now we're gonna deal to the Eagles. Unfortunately, we were not able to save our Gandalf, guys. But we have all the power points unlocked from the spellbook. Let's focus down the Eagles now with these units inside the Tita. Watch the damage they have. They are two-shotting the Eagles in a single second. That's how strong they are now with this much leadership around. And I believe he's gonna call it GG right after because this game is pretty much over. Yeah. We killed every single farm, and he's gonna leave the game. Mel Gibson has been defeated, guys. And Shanks, our, you know, we are victorious. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Make sure to leave a like. We we'll appreciate that a lot. Look, our money difference is huge. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves, and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace, guys.